Hello and welcome to Tutorials by Larry. So today I'm going to teach you how to build an automatic digging machine. Now this digging machine is actually not really hard to build. Uh, there's a few pieces that are a little expensive. We'll need a lot of drills. But the cool thing about it is that it is portable. So you can actually pick it up, take it anywhere you want in the overworld and even in the nether. Anyway, let me show you how to build this. The list of ingredients is not very difficult. Uh, the hardest things are going to be this rotation speed controller and you're also going to need 45 mechanical drills for this particular example. And I will go ahead and add the list of ingredients in the description for the video below. So basically what you want to do, uh, first thing you want to do is grab it, this thing called a cart assembler. You're going to need a rail and a mine cart. And this will be the base for what we're building here. So. Uh, I picked this place because there's actually some kind of cool looking materials down here. So I'll give you an example of how it gathers everything. So let me go ahead and get it started over here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down this rail. And then we're going to stick this cart assembler right on top of it. Okay, and then we're going to put the mine cart right on top of the rail. Now, if you've ever played the crate mod, you'll probably understand what this card assembler is, but if you're new, this basically will allow you to build something called a contraption. So anything that you attach to this card assembler, you could then use your wrench. And if you click on it, you can actually pick up the entire contraption and it turns it into a single inventory item and you can just take it with you wherever you want. The cool thing about this is that for these drills, it's gonna gather a whole bunch of resources, many chests full of resources. And when you actually shrink it down into an inventory item, all those items come along with it. So it's a cool way to transfer stuff from point to point in the game too. Okay, so first thing you wanna do here is we're gonna put the rotation speed controller right on top of here. And I'll grab the cog wheel as well. And then we're also gonna need a gear shift and let's go ahead and grab a lever and a rope pulley. Okay, so we'll put the speed controller right on top. Basically so that the cog wheel is going side to side. Grab that, we'll drop it in the middle. Okay, now what we're gonna do here, we're going to need to feed windmill power right into the speed controller. So first thing we're gonna need is a vertical gearbox, which I forgot. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and build the windmill right straight up from here. So coming out of the speed controller here, we're gonna to wanna to put a gear shift. This is going to allow us to lower and raise the drilling contraption once it's running. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just grab the rest of these ingredients. I'm going to go ahead and grab the windmill bearing. And then we're going to build some radial chassis going straight up from here. So I'm going to use eight. And then we'll, let's go ahead and attach our sails to this right away. I'm using 48 in this example, but uh, you probably don't need that many. Okay, that should do it. So now the windmill will actually function. Let's go ahead and test it. Perfect, and you can actually crank this speed controller up. About 128 is where I find it uh, digs pretty fast. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is to get a rope pulley and put it right in front of this, this gearbox here. So we'll stick that right here. And then what that's gonna do is the bottom part of the rope pulley is going to attach to a linear chassis. So let's go ahead and grab those. And then I'm going to go ahead and come four out in this direction. And then we'll go four in the other direction. And then we're going to make this five layers deep. Okay, perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to attach the drills to the bottom of this part right here. So we're going to need some slime to do that. Basically just get your slime ball and decorate every piece here. Okay, now we're gonna get our mechanical drills and we will attach those to the underside. 
Okay, perfect. So the next thing we want to do is we want to put some chests right on top here. Let me show you how to do that. I got 16 chests. Basically just put the slime where you want the chest to go. Do something like this. Grab the chests. Now what happens is when the drill actually goes down into the ground, all the materials that it gathers will go right into these chests. It's quite cool. Okay, we're almost done here, but basically what we need to do in order to pick up this entire mechanism and take it with you, we've got to take some super glue and kind of attach these bits here in the middle together. So let me grab that. So basically we just want to keep all these bits in the middle glued together and that should actually work. So let's go ahead and test this. First thing we're going to want to do before we turn it on is we're going to want to put a lever, lever, lever right here. And we're going to want to put one down here. We'll do that here in a second. But let's turn on the drill. Okay. Whoa, it's already working. Let me flip that switch. So basically what happens here, you right click on this thing and it'll just start drilling. You hear it doing its thing. Okay, that's probably a deep enough hole there to give you an idea of how this thing works. So let me go ahead and raise this. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna grab another lever and we're gonna stick it right here on this contraption. So as soon as this gets to the top, I'll show you how this works. And hopefully we glued everything together properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the windmill from working, but You'll be able to see we've gathered quite a bit of really awesome resources here. So um, not sure how this thing fills up the chests and what order it does it. So you should just check all the chests when it gets back to the top. But uh, yeah, we've got a lot of nice goodies in there already that we can take with us and do some builds with. So uh, what you want to do now is with this switch on here, with the lever on here, if you right click it, you'll notice this thing lifts up. now. The whole contraption should have lifted up and it didn't do that. So that means we didn't glue it correctly. So let's get our super glue back. Okay, I think I've got it working. Basically what I did wrong is I didn't have all these pieces in here all glued together. So these all need to be glued together and then this needs to be glued to that. And then this first piece here just next to the chest needs to be glued to this. So. Yeah, kind of a pain, but uh, once you get it figured out, it's not so bad. So now if I right click on this, you'll see the whole contraption lifts up. Now when it's lifted, if you grab your wrench and if you shift right click right on the minecart, picks up the whole contraption. Now let me go ahead and show you how to place this down in a different location to do some more drilling. So let's find a nice flat spot. This looks good. Okay. So, once again, get your cart assembler and your rail. And now we have this new thing here, this minecart contraption. So let's grab that as well. So we'll put down the rail, put down the cart assembler, and then the contraption right underneath. Boom. There's our entire mechanism. So now you just Turn on the windmill and then start drilling. Okay, that's basically it. It's uh, not a very difficult build, like I said, but uh, it is extremely useful, especially if you want to do something like build a perimeter or build a huge giant hole to fill with lava, uh, whatever it is you want to do. It's a great way to gather resources. Anyway, I hope it was helpful and uh, definitely appreciate you watching. And I'm going to be producing more content here for the Create Mod soon. So please tune in and uh, subscribe so you can see when those videos pop up. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you again soon.